Hey, what's going on everybody? Continue is back, back, back. Okay guys. Uh, today I'm thinking of creating a very very simple tutorial. We are gonna create a clock in React.js. Yes, I know this is very simple, but uh, this is the problem guys. We can't find easily simple and useful uh, tutorials. Okay, I haven't created it yet and uh, for this reason I'm not going to show you show you it here we are gonna create it uh, together so first of all what we need go to your terminal cmd uh, right npx create let's take off these glasses <laughs> I don't know what I'm wearing it um, so create react app clock let's call it clock we create react app clock yes but we are sorry guys cd we want it in desk top cool now write npx create re uh, React up clock right and just and now we are just waiting for the complete of installation okay this tutorial is gonna be easy uh, maybe I can show you a couple of things uh, let's see okay now guys I'm just uploading the shopping cart on Udemy the tutorial it wants it wants a lot it requires a lot of time and uh, of course I made some modification with the uh, and I improved the background no noise that of tutorial that uh, already existing on YouTube uh, so what I wanted to tell you now Netlify, let's go to Netlify. I'm gonna show you the clock. It is inside in a project now. Uh, sign up. Come on, come on. Okay, sign up with GitHub. Why not? Let me see. Uh, come on. So uh, here is here is the project. Hey guys, here is the clock that I have. I'm gonna show you two ways. Here, this is this is the clock, guys. I'm gonna show you two ways of creating this clock. This is a project that I created for my sister husband. Uh, come on, image is not coming so quickly. Maybe some problems from the server from Netlify. It's a project that I created. Very cool. We are gonna create project like this for sure, guys. Look at this amazing navigation menu. Look now. Nice, really, really nice. Oh, what did I do? Come on now. Okay, this accord this is the accordion that we created uh, in a separate tutorial. You will find it in uh, my tutorial. This is from Absolute Scratch. Here are some. Look, slider for jobs, another, look here. Okay, we are not here to make a discussion about this project. Okay, this is the clock that we are gonna create, guys. Okay, let's close it. Close it. I'm now going... I'm gonna close for a while until the complete of installation. Okay, guys, we are back, back, back. So, we are here, uh, happy hacking, uh, installation is complete, cool, 
let's go now and open our Visual Studio Code right just grab the clock that we created in our desktop drag and drop it inside cool yeah nice go to up cool oh, what I'm doing here uh, oh view terminal view terminal yes 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 cool so guys now just npm start start the react project for sure guys we are gonna create many many projects many many cool projects many many Merl projects with react I'm working on it okay you already saw the shopping cart project it's very nice the only thing that I don't like is the background noise I don't have a choice because uh, I'm just recording it from my PC and PC is uh, very old and make noise so until I find a way to take a tablet or a something else in order to watch the what I'm doing to watch the files and then uh, making the tool for now we have to do this so reduce, uh, reduce resize and I say reduce so uh, let's delete the header we don't need it also go to app css we go delete all this align sender no just write uh, margin no, no, no don't write anything here what i'm doing delete um, just choose the asterisk just to write margin zero auto padding zero o zero box sizing border box cool nothing let's go here uh, we don't need the logo delete it very cool uh, let's write here time what's the time dude uh, I will tell you <laughs> tell you in few <laughs> minutes oh in few minutes cool so let's get started guys first of all let's make here a i'm gonna make it with class component uh, copy this cut delete all this r f r c Ore, nice. Ore, I said ore. <laughs> ore, it means uh, nice in Greek. In Greek, ore. So, guys, let's go and create now our component. So, create a state equal with. We want the time cool yeah new uh, we want the new date choose it here to local string yes yes cool let's go what I'm doing here guys let's go here 
and uh, we want the component did mount and the reason because uh, we want it is that after after the rendering the first rendering uh, we are going to see the time so after we render we use component did mount in order to bring other things right right cool did mount this dot clock equal set interval pattern function here this uh, this what I'm doing dot count right and here put one this amount okay let's create the count count equal a narrow function here yeah This dot set state cool and we want the time right uh, I made a mistake it's a method and we want an object time a new date two what I'm doing I'm not very well today. So guys, to local string, yes, dude. Uh, then, when we use this dot, when we use set interval, it's gonna count. Uh, this takes memory. Okay. Uh, after the fir the first and the second render, we w we don't want to take uh, after counting every one, two, three, four to take uh, space in the memory. And for this e reason, we use a component component will. Where is my component? Come on, Odi, what you are doing now? Component will unmount. Cool. Yeah. We want to clear interval this dot clock. Yeah. Um, let's see now. Uh, Let's play the H one this dot stay dot time and boom here is a time now guys you can see right we created the time component Cool. Now, uh, I'm gonna leave it as it is.
Now let's use another way of uh, vanilla GS more uh, new file. Uh, let's say ty time two. Let's say dot GS. Good. Let's create now R F no F S as a functional component cool yes here we need the capital time cool uh, go here time two we are gonna create now a state why i'm using state someone's gonna say okay Odi, why you always use state because it's not bad guys you can do whatever you want with whatever you desire okay in in the future we are gonna also use uh, hooks in the react redux but learn some things well okay and don't listen to others who say okay you don't use any more uh, uh, class-based component it's not bad you can use whatever you want everything everything can help you make or implement a project Okay. What I love more, I like uh, more is React hooks. It's amazing. We are gonna make some toots with React hooks. Right. Let's go now. State. Uh, we want the day. This is a custom uh, clock now. Very custom. You will see. Date. Cool. Dot. Get. Day. Opa. Yeah. Now you saw that we use custom vanilla GS. Okay, mount new. You know, new. Let's let's copy this. New. Date dot get. Uh, of course, we need mount guys cool new day what i'm putting this here what i'm doing new date ah uh, let's copy this Another copy mount let's write here date get date get date cool put here we need the year new uh, get full year we need the full year uh, hour Ah, I can't the same. Put here. Hour. Get hours. Cool. Get. We need minutes. Yeah. Why I'm doing this, guys? Because uh, you make it uh, custom and you have mm, a lot of flexibility. Get what I mean? Get no get get. As you can see, it's not good speaking and writing. Get seconds. Seconds. Cool. Uh, let's make a counting counting equal yes this dot set state yes. what happened why 
can see set state what what the fuck uh, what I'm doing guys no no for this reason I can call cut all this we want this inside the component tell me that I'm doing stupid things Okay, now I was wondering what the set stay <laughs> wasn't coming. Right, cool. Uh, now let's copy all this again. Control copy. And boom. Oh, what? Oh, what? Copy only this. Copy. Yes. Right. Um, after this, let's make a component. Did mount. Cool. This dot reset. Time equal with set interval k create a function be careful what we are doing put here uh, there is amount just right here now this dot counting cool yes and of course we need the component will will unmount yeah and here clear interval we want to clear the this dot reset time Cool. Go to, your, to render now inside here. Let's create a const uh, mounts equal. Let's say let's say Jan. Jan. Okay. Feb. I don't want, want to write all this, no, 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 what I'm doing, Jan, cool, Feb, cool, no Beb, F, Feb, yeah, Mar, April May let's say May June Jul August Cool September, yeah. Oct for October, cool. Nov for November. Get this, this. Okay, you can write all the words if you want. I'm not going to write it all now. And a const with with days, guys. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's say uh, Sunday Monday uh, don't remember how 
Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. Damn it. Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's say Sunday, Monday. Ah. Uh, days in English. Don't remember the. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, let's say. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Okay. Wednesday. I believe Thursday. Let's see. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Thursday. Okay, we need the Friday. And of course, the Saturday. Okay. Uh, after this, let's go and write a Span, span, right, and inside the span, I'm gonna put this. Let's start now. Template literals, cool. What I'm doing now. Yeah. Days this dot state dot day cool this dot state dot date. Okay, mount, mount, this dot state dot mount, cool. this dot state dot hour cool this dot state dot minutes yes minutes yeah, and finally, we need this dot state dot seconds. Okay, let's see now. Uh, close it. Yes, we can see why. Ah, because we haven't imported it, let's uh, import the time to. Port time to from time to cool right and let's import it put it uh, this is custom time 
Okay, let's put the uh, H3, H2, H2, why not? Uh, H2 time 2, let's see. Okay, guys, it seems that we have got a mistake here. Let's see, the mistake is here that it's not uh, go and put get mount. We need the mount. Yeah, cool. Right, copy all this. Go here in mouth and put this. And let's see now. Look here, guys. It's much more custom. All this. Look, look now. It's better. You understand it. You can do whatever you want. Look, Thursday, 3 September, and the time here. Okay, cool. You can choose whatever you want, guys. So let's uh, see something else here. Let's make a style in line CSS color. Let's put a green. Cool. No, it's the wrong clock. <laughs> I'm gonna put it here. Style equal. Let's put a color. A green. Right. And the text align. Text align. Let's put it center. In the center. Okay, guys, this is what we created. Two ways of creating clocks. The first one here and the second uh, second one here. I prefer personally the second one because you have much more uh, flexibility to play with the day, with the mount, to put uh, in every uh, direction you want. Okay, that was the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. It took me 32 minutes, so much time. So guys, have a nice day. And don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you are uh, already subscribed, push with patience the like button.